Protecting personal information is imperative in this digital age, along with your pins and passwords. Have you ever thought about your cell phone security? CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco tells us why you need to keep your number safe. Your social security number, your ATM pin number, even your address, all kept confidential. But what about your cell phone number? I don't really think twice. Do I don't give my phone number out very often. According to the CDC, nearly half of American homes no longer use a landline. A cell phone number is all they have. Your social security number is used to uniquely identify you. Your cell phone number is also used to do that. Ian Marlowe, cybersecurity expert, says it's not just ending up on a telemarketer's list, but in the wrong hands, your cell phone number can be the gateway to your private information. Just even the cell phone scam is someone calling you and you answer it and they're going to say, we know your name, we know your address, we need to confirm a bunch of information for billing purposes and they'll fill in the information then begin to ask you either your PIN code or your social security number. So exactly how easy is it to get the personal information linked to your number? We used my personal cell phone number and the results are scary. So we've got name, address, previous addresses, other, other phone numbers. Using an online reverse phone number search in minutes, Marlowe found all of that information, plus the names, addresses, and phone numbers of my family members. You could use the information generated from the reports to continue to dig and use other resources to generate a social security number. But there are ways to protect yourself. There are apps that you can download that will make your phone have a separate phone number from its number. There's Google Voice. So you can protect yourself if you give yourself that second number. A lesson that your cell phone number is much more than just 10 digits. In Fairfield, New Jersey, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.